the greater good. Hey everybody, Greater Good Mining here. So I just did my video yesterday that Ice River released firmware, and I originally was saying I wasn't going to mess with it because they didn't really tell you what the firmware does, and my KS1s, KS0s have been running fine, but uh, I can't help but FAFO. So um, right now I've got my KS1 batch 2 on K1 pool, and I'm getting better hash rate than I was on Caspa pool overall. And you might have seen my other video where I compare pools and K1 pool ended up being the winner for total yield on my KS0. So I'm going to switch my batch to KS1 over to the new firmware. Check out my graph here, my um, hash rate chart, I mean, and look at how jagged it is. And that's a lot of people have been asking since day one, like, why is it so choppy? And, and you know, if you've been mining crypto for a while, a lot of your hash rate charts will look like this. Um, but there's some people in my Discord that are showing they're getting smoother results. Um, I'll show you a picture of T-Swift's um, hash rate chart after he switched over to the new firmware. So here's T-Swift's hash rate chart on his KS0. Um, it shows, like, the stock firmware, and then it shows when he flipped over to the new firmware and check it out it looks pretty jagged here and then over here it's much much more smoothed out so um, i'm gonna give it a shot and i'll show you guys my results too here's my ks1 in the ice river web gui and this is on k1 pool um, after running for about one day and five hours zero percent rejection uh, shares on the ks1 so higher hash rate in less re than zero rejected shares when i switched over to k1 pool so K1 pool seems to be doing pretty good here. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and get the firmware updated. Okay, in order to download the firmware, go to iceriver.io. This is the official website right here. And then you're going to click on support. Then you're going to go to tutorials. And then scroll down and click on firmware download. And then make sure you click specifically on whatever machine you're downloading the firmware for. I'm going to download the firmware for the KS1. I already actually downloaded it. I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, just create a file on your desktop, download it to that folder, and then unzip the folder into that, uh, un unzip the file into that same folder. It's pretty easy. And then you'll, um, you know, read all the download instructions. And um, I already kind of read these off yesterday in my video yesterday. So just read the, the notes that they have here. And then this is what the files look like. Uh, when they're unzipped so this is the file itself in order to update the firmware you need to go into your web GUI and then you know you know what your home page looks like but I, I just figured I'd show you my um, hash rate chart on the firmware to show you how choppy it is it's like down to 703 then it's up to 1466 so it's kind of all over the place and we've all been saying that for a while um, so go to firmware upgrade and then it basically you just select the file from where you downloaded it to. Here's the BGZ file. They said that's the type of file you want is a BGZ. Open it and then just click update. Let's see what happens. Okay, it says operation succeeded. Now, what I'm curious about is these fans like... Um, I'm going to restart the machine, and then the next shot you'll see is um, I'll be in the garage uh, just to see if the fans ramp up on the machine or if they stay the same. Maybe I'll shut my other machines off so you can so you can hear the difference. Let's go for it. Confirm restarting, and you guys will see me in a minute in the garage. Each of these firmwares, the fans have acted different. Um, in the first firmware, the fans would say they were at 100%, but they would stay at whatever you set them at. Um, that's why I was hesitant to update the firmware. Um, my OG KS1 here, the firmware, the fans will stay where I put them, but it'll say 100% in the web GUI, even though I know they're running at 40%. Oh, it's ramping down. Let's see. You hear it ramping down? Sorry, I walked across the, uh, the fans there. Yeah, so it just ramped down. I'm gonna go check the web GUI and see what it's doing. Okay, so 
I'm back at the computer and it looks like the fans are adjusting quickly. Um, in the old firmware, they would take forever to adjust back down. Um, so I just rebooted it and usually it would take forever for the fans to get down to like a lower percentage. They would default to 100% and then stay there for a long time. But yeah, right now they're just, they're ramping down smoothly and quickly. So I might not set my fan speeds manually on the KS ones anymore because I like that they're ramping down faster now. That was one of my main complaints. Um, it was just really obnoxious. It would default to 100% and then maybe it seemed like half an hour later they would ramp down a little bit after rebooting. Um, so I'm going to watch this for a while. I'll see what the fans get down to on their own. Keep in mind, I'm in Florida and it's hot in the garage. I mean, um, especially during the daytime. So my fan speeds might stay higher than yours, but this is pretty cool. Um, I like that the fans are going to ramp down faster now. So let's just take a look. So it's not it's not showing up yet that it's hashing, but it is. It's I'm getting accepted shares. I can see that. So um, we got to give it a little a bit of time. It's only been run for a few minutes. So I will um, check back in a little bit, let it run for a little while. We'll look at the um, hash rate uh, to see how choppy it is on the graph. And then we'll look at the fans again. OK, and check out how smooth this is now after uh, the firmware update. So much, much different. Um, we're not getting crazy spikes and dips. Um, we're hashing an average, a better average um, of a th over a thousand giga hash per second. So that's what I expect out of my KS1. I paid for a thousand giga hash per second. It seemed like my second batch KS1 was only getting like 950, you know. So, uh, and maybe that had something to do with the pool too, you know. Um, the whole setup in general, the firmware, the pool. Um, right now, getting much more consistent hash rate, slightly higher hash rate, still 0% rejected shares. It's been running for about 50 minutes. Um, but I've looked at this web GUI a ton with the five minute and three minute hash rate. And I can tell you, usually it's all over the place. So this is much smoother with the firmware updates. Um, also, you guys already saw the fans. Um, the fans have always driven me nuts. Let's take a look at what's going on with that. Okay, so check this out too. Um, the fans, fan speed down to 33%. It's um, auto adjusting and it auto adjusted quickly down to even lower than I had them set. So I was probably running them faster than I needed to. And let's take a look at the temps. So the temps are higher than I usually would allow if I set them manually. Um, I've been told that 70 degrees Celsius is like the max that you want to get to. Um, so if they're auto adjusting, this might save me power though in the long run because I've been running them at about 50% in my hot garage in Florida. And I've been keeping my temps a little bit lower than this as like a, like a buffer because I have them set manually. Um, my temperatures were like probably the high fifties, maybe low sixties on both uh, temp two. So if it's auto adjusting, it's probably better because at night I'm not setting my fans manually down to a lower speed. Um, so I'm, I'm basically wasting power, you know, like if I don't have them auto adjusting, um, the other way you can save a ton of power is get one of those fruition design kits, uh, uh, sorry, fruition design kits, um, that you saw maybe on my KS3L fruition designs, uh, setup video. Um, I have the, the fans set pretty low. I think it's only pulling like 40 Watts for that beast of a, a miner. So, um, these, these fans, I'm going to leave them on auto adjust mode and I'll just see, I'll watch the temperatures. I'll watch the fan speeds, but for now I'm pretty happy with this. Um, and the hash rate is much smoother. So smoother hash rate between the ice river firmware update and using K one pool and leaving my fans on auto adjust. I've been running it for about an hour and a half now. And this, the, um, hash rate is much smoother. Let's take a look at that too. Okay, so it's been running for an hour and a half and check out the hash rate. Much, much smoother, guys. So now that I know the firmware is pretty good, it's smoothing out the hash rate and is allowing me to run the fans on auto without them screaming for hours before they auto adjust. Um, I'm going to start switching over my all my ice rivers, my KS0s, KS1s, KS3Ls. I'm going to switch all the firmware to the new firmware and I'm going to switch all of them over to K1 pool and I'm going to watch them for a while. I want to see how smooth the hash rate looks on the pool too. 
Um, I was checking it. It doesn't look like it's been running long enough to to give any data on that, but I'll keep an eye on it and I'll update you guys if I see anything different. And um, anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider liking, comment on it. Let me know what you think. Um, and then if you would uh, subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate it. It helps me out. And then also don't forget to keep it decentralized for the greater good. The greater good.